Hello everybody, this is Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. I've got something new here running on my table. This is another another Arduino microcontroller and a tiny little display. Very hard to see. Is that a focus? Anyway, I don't know if that's going to focus very well. I have a little display. I don't know why it blinks. It's a um, only a four pin display, only two data pins. So I don't know if it's something in my code or just the refresh rate rate of the thing or how. I don't know because this thing is on so it's, it's probably my code. I'm still learning how to use this little display, but anyway, it works for now. And what I have here is a light level indicator and the current voltage of the battery bank which is out we out there so it's reading the voltage level of the battery bank which is adjusted for loss in the in the wires and then shows me inside here now that comes through the 24 volt line and it's really unique what I've done here I did this all the other day but Melanie had music playing in the house and um, YouTube won't allow me to have ads if there's music playing. They would block me so for copyright violation. So I couldn't tell you what I was doing. Anyway, I went and did it because I had to do it and it was uh, I had the time. So what we have here, I'll start out with the basics. First I got the little display and I got him running through the microcontroller and I did that with my uh, laptop hooked up. And then I experimentally ran some some text and stuff on the display. Got that going good, all happy. Then I put on a day and night sensor. If I cover this, if it's if it'll get dark enough in here, the LED light should kick on. No, I can't get it dark enough. Maybe I can cover that entire there. LED kicks on, telling me that it's nighttime, which will then turn on if needed my battery charger so the idea of this little guy is that if I'm running power and I'm not home or it gets too dark meaning there's a storm passing by which happens sometimes and I've got too much power running here on the solar system then this device here is going to kick on the LED which also you see there's some wires coming out of here and I'll explain that in a minute and it's going to kick on a battery charger to make sure I don't wreck my solar power battery bank if I'm not home and too much is running here. That's the key. So far what we do all the time is shut everything down when we leave the house and go to work each day except for you know necessities like the fridge or whatever but we shut everything down and leave and we come home we can fire everything up if there's enough power left which in the evening there's usually light till 9, 9.30 now. But with this guy, we'll be able to leave things running, like a mining rig, for example. Not worry about if clouds come in or a storm comes in and damaging the battery bank. Because now I'll show you what we got down here. It's really cool how I've got this all set up now. You guys know about my solar power control bank here, where the power coming from my power inverter on the solar power battery bank comes into here and this is my AC DC converter box inside my house let me move my little mosquito zapper out of the way so it's not confusing I bought a little thing I use at night on there but anyway so the power comes in through the AC lines goes inside this box and that's all protected and safe and then the DC comes through a fused line to a, well actually to a 24 to 12 volt adapter. So the DC power, 24 volts from the battery bank, comes into this converter to a cigarette lighter which tells me the current battery voltage of the battery bank itself. And that goes to a fuse block which gives me my 12 volt access here all my 12 volt lines all everything inside is then fused and then of course to my two 
power bank. So I have two four USB ports and two cigarette lighter ports on 12 volts and I have a 24 volt cigarette lighter port with my temperature and battery voltage. So there's my my power bank. Now up here um, I don't have it screwed in and solid because it's um, I was still experimenting but now I've got it running. Here I have a relay. It's a solid state relay with a heat sink. That's all it is. Now the wires from the Arduino come in here and turn it on if it's uh, if the charger is needed and then I um, have the AC wire going on out to the to the battery charger so that will then turn on the grid power to the battery charger as needed but again we don't need to have that it's only for emergencies when we're not home then if it gets dark clouds come over that LED comes on which literally is turning on the solid state relay down here which is engaging the grid power and turning on the battery charger and that all works but again don't think I'm just trying to use grid power it's only an emergency backup now we can run power in here I can during the daytime when it's sunny like now I can run everything I, I can power off those solar panels I can throw everything at it is up to 1600 watts max well actually no I've got a thousand watt inverter with a 2000 watt surge so I gotta have that for the fridge but anyway with that surge um, I can run my 500 watt uh, mining rig I can run the fridge because it's only 150 watts with probably a three four hundred watt surge and then I can run my laptop and LED TV and that's pretty much all we got going on in here at any given time if I want to run an air conditioner, I would turn off the mining rig. And if I want to run the washing machine, I'd probably turn off the mining rig. But anyway, actually the washing machine is pretty efficient too. But all that is possible now. While we're home, at any given time, we can do any of that as long as the sun is shining. This little guy now is going to protect my battery bank. And it's all going. Now what I've done really cool I've taken and I'm powering the Arduino from 12 volts and that go comes off my 12 volt fuse block here there's a little blue wire going to the Arduino and then it's grounded inside the box up inside in the in the common ground so it's fused so if anything shorts out against it poof we blow the fuse we don't burn any wires no danger and then I also have the yellow wires go to the 24 volt side of the of the power converter and that comes in here to a voltage divider and then your Arduino has a built-in voltmeter software that then tells me the current voltage of the battery bank at any given time which if this will focus it'll show you um, it's flashing so it's a bit awkward and uh, I'm gonna fix that but that's pretty good that works it all works very well and then I also have the day-night sensor so if it got really dark I would just automatically kick on that that charger which by the way the charger is only gonna um, I have the voltages set here the trigger voltages that charger is only going to be used if the battery bank falls below a certain point then the charger kicks on as long as it's daylight in here and then after a certain point the charger kicks off so I'm running maximum solar power at any given time. The idea is to burn as much solar power as we can at any given time from now on. Using as much as we can for, well, I mine cryptocurrency on solar power to earn some extra money. So we've got 1600 watts of solar we're not using during the day. I'm gonna start using it right here. This is it guys. Hey guys, out here I've got all my electronics and stuff and batteries. I've got all the covers uh, removed everything opened up and exposed I've got the Ames charger here hooked up and plugged in that is only going to work when clouds pass over I am mining right now cryptocurrency on solar power but that's going to come to an end soon the day is coming to a close we're pulling still yeah only 400 watts I'm down to 25 volts so it's about time I, I shut that down for the day um, 
but I do run the miner. So it pulls 500 watts. And we're only pulling 360 watts in. So I run that miner all day long. I can start around 9, 30, 10 o'clock in the morning when I'm home and then shut it down around uh, 5, 30, 6 o'clock in the evening. Give my batteries time to tap back off. So I'm going to go do that now. But anyway, I've got this all wide open and uncovered so I could be working on that. And uh, also unrelated to this particular video, I'm putting tar on the roof of this because there were some nail holes. It was used metal and they sort of leaked a bit so I'm tarring that. Um, that's out in the middle of the yard there on a pallet and the tar is right there. I patched those holes and then I'll be putting this all back together again for the night. But there's all my controls and electronics and a battery bank of course. Now I've got my mining rig on solar power. I've left it running intentionally in the back room. Let me take you in there and show you. That's a 500 watt draw. That's mining right now. And the fan is pulling power right now and so is the Bedini motor. All that's running on solar right now back here at this time. The battery voltage is dropping and a certain trigger point that battery charger is going to kick on. But for demonstration purposes, I'm going to simulate nighttime by putting my hat over this. Now watch that voltage. I'm going to put my hat on here to simulate nighttime. Oh, there the LED came on. All right. And my charger is on outside. Look at the voltage coming up. The voltage is coming up. So it works. The system works. At least the day-night sensor works. If I wasn't home and I had a massive load on here, that'll kick in and it's going to assist the solar during day or at night it's going to kick on if I'm not home and make sure we don't destroy that battery bank. Again, this is just emergency purposes, you know, it's a backup. Let's go on out there and have a look. I don't like going out without my hat, but this is the only way to trigger it right now. Now you can hear that Ames charger humming. The, uh, the battery bank's only pulling in a hundred and some odd watts anyway, 127 watts, 136. It's the end of the day. So the battery, or the solar panels aren't pulling that much power anymore. So I was going to shut everything down for the end of the day, but I decided for demonstration purposes to kick this on and show you how it works. So that is now charging the battery bank along with the solar. So this is a good demonstration if we were not home and the mining rig was running and the sun is setting in the sky sideways to the solar panels now. I wouldn't lose the battery bank if we couldn't get home in time. And there was a situation where it was beautiful and sunny out and we were an hour and a half away from home and enjoying an incredible day. We really didn't want to have to come back in a hurry but I had to rush home to shut off the mining rig to protect my battery bank. Now. I can leave this here, I can leave the house, I don't have to stress. It's not that we want to use grid power, we have an emergency backup. I hope that's clear. I really need to stress that because I see a lot of complaints all the time about that. It just gives us more peace and we don't have to stress about getting home in a hurry if I got something running and pulling power. So here we have demonstration, it runs, it's working. It's got the status light on, it's got yellow, I think. I'm going to have to learn what those, uh, those mean. And I've got the current up to the max. But here we go. Kicks a load a little bit of power too, or a little bit of heat. So that's running. Anyway, I'm going to pull my hat off and uh, let that shut back down. Shut off my mining rig for now. No, I'm going to leave the mining rig on. And I'm going to see and watch this kick on when the voltage hits a certain low point and make sure that it goes through its full cycles and works. The uh, little Arduino microcontroller. Get my hat back. I don't like to go out without hats because of the let I got stung that time. Never going out without a hat again. So that's now it shut off the controller. I love this. It works. It really works. It's so cool. And now my voltage is going to start dropping again. It's easier to see this voltmeter than the one up there. Anyway, the voltage is going to start going back down because I have about 600 watt load with the fan and everything else pulling on that. 
that's an antique fan so I don't know it's probably more than a hundred watts but I'm probably pulling a at least 600 watts out of there uh, there's big old Tomcat he's a big big boy big cat he's a lovely guy my Tomcat doesn't sit still much so anyway we'll let this drain down and I'll wait for that to kick on and uh, we'll be back to you. It won't take long because that's already down to 25 volt. Um, I forgot the trigger voltage I set in the program. It was a week ago I finished this um, microcontroller, by the way. And I haven't been home to work on it. We're only home for a day once a week uh, during the daytime when I can work on this uh, with the sun shining. And if it rains on that day, then that's uh, not going to happen. Anyway, so, and I, I want to be mining in the solar power to test this in real world experience, real world use. So uh, we'll be back in a few minutes. I'm sure it won't take too long. We're already at 24.8 uh, which is 12.4. Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's 12.2. I set the trigger voltage which would be 20. Was that 24.4? It'll be there quick. Well guys, this is also a good test of my battery bank because it's holding a long, long time at 24.8, now 24.7. I'm waiting and waiting and waiting. I don't know how long it's going to take to go down and trigger that, but uh, I'm leaving it running. Oh, it's going to 24.6. It just started blinking. So it must be uh, 24.65 or a little higher. Anyway, that's. Uh, I'm waiting and watching. I'm going to go up and check my computer and the software I put in there. I forgot my trigger voltage because the problem is I was working on. I, I built these things on 5 volts. I've got one in the camper running on a 12 volt system. I've got one here running on the 24 volt system. And I don't remember the number I put in there. So I'm going to go up and check the computer. And, uh, and then I'll get back to you on that. What voltage I put in that little microcomputer to kick on the charger. All right, I just reset the Arduino. And it just kicked on actually when I reset it. I set it to 24.6. Um, kick on voltage and 25.8 kickoff voltage which it looks like it's going to reach pretty quick here so it finally triggered the battery charger the green light can't see very well can you and up here you can't see but there's a red light on there and we are charging so now it'll run the reason I set the voltage like that again I don't want to run on the grid power what I want to do is assist the solar in case there's a rainstorm comes up so the kickoff voltage isn't very much higher the the range that that stays on during the daytime is not very much because I really don't want to run it that much uh, that's the key it's just to keep the batteries from being harmed keep them in their in their happy range until Either the sun comes back out of the clouds, or I get home and I shut off whatever load is on, or deal with the situation myself. So it's just a safety. Now I have some parts coming from China. All of this is going to be hardwired and hard soldered into a board that plugs straight into the top of that thing, of the microcontroller. All we're going to have is the soldered in um, voltages. The, the volt wire and then the um, the wire going out to the uh, the solid state relay and the power and a fully hard solder board well, this is complete fully functional and works great so if you got any questions guys uh, feel free to ask I'm probably gonna once I figure out if I get a program to, to allow me to draw this neatly I'll probably throw that all out there for you on a blog post and uh, open source it all for you along with the software but there we have it fully functioning automated control for my home solar system to just an emergency just in case kick on a battery charger if we're not home we got too much power going on so thanks for watching guys I hope that is clear please feel free to ask any comments or share any suggestions and please like subscribe and share and follow our daily videos as we strive to become fully off the grid and self-sufficient on a budget. Mining cryptocurrency using free solar power is definitely going to help. So, talk to you all later. Oh, hit that bell icon to get notifications of uploads.
Goodbye.